tell us. Tease and everything you can. We'd love that. What? <laughs> Just tease anything. We know tease the tone's anything. rising up. There's got to be some turmoil, some anger, some angst. <laughs> Something. There is, uh, oh, there's lots of tease. Um, the return of, new, of old characters to the show. Um, death or two. Uh, an extended finale. such a general question. <laughs> Are you going to break our hearts? I hope so. You hope so. <laughs> That's what we come to TV for, right? Yeah. So how did that final episode change from what you originally envisioned like for the series finale? Uh, my original vision for the series finale was episode 520. <laughs> so that's how that was one of the things that changed. Um, it's been a, it's always evolved. Uh, there was a, I, once I knew that um, uh, the network wanted another 20 episodes, we were in a little bit of trouble because of uh, film schedule, filming schedules. So we had to get a little creative with, with people like Dylan O'Brien who still wanted to do the show to Fox and had to go away for several months. And I said, well, I'm going to do it. I've got this idea about memory loss and how to keep styles in it. And then um, uh, for these last 10 episodes, I knew I wanted to separate them out. Part of it was going back to Scott McCall's character going and saying, all right, how can we finish the Teen Wolf story? How can we finish? We started with Scott and Scott being hunted, um, and decided let's end with that as well. Let's come full circle, and it's sort of the, the season of the rise of new hunters. So, uh, and it's um, uh, led by Sibangule uh, Miyamba, who I hope I pronounced her last name correctly, who is a phenomenal and wonderful person. She's going to make a really good villain, I think. You see her in the newest trailer. Um, you see her in both trailers, but she gets more, more, uh, more of an introduction in this trailer. Um, I hope people really like her. She's great. Any other new characters that we should really be on the lookout for? Yes. Um, there's a sort of a group of, of new young characters: uh, Foy Gutierrez and uh, Andrew Matarazzo. Um, I'm proud of myself for pronouncing those correctly. Um, they play uh, young students in, in Beacon Hills who are sort of uh, um, also uh, rising new hunters as well. Um, Sibo's character, Monroe, sort of uh, gets into the hearts and souls of, of the teenage population, and Scott and his friends find everyone turning against them, seeing, and seeing them as pariahs. So the, the new season is very much about fear, about being an outcast, about being an outsider. Why did it take so long for people to start fearing them, considering so much stuff has happened? Yeah, well, we looked at um, we looked at uh, season five, and, and there were scenes in season five that I knew we wanted to do, which was sort of a callback to um, to Buffy, because at, at one at a certain point, everybody knows who Buffy is. They all know she's the Slayer. They all know, they all know about vampires now, and we knew that we were going to have to reach that point in Team Wolf. And it's really the scene in the library where all those students are hiding. Go ahead. All those students, all those students are hiding um, in the stacks and seeing Scott. They've seen him. So one of the first things we start out with in in uh, in the um, beginning of 6A is people talking and saying, I know what... People don't, people don't say anything, but we all know what we saw in the library that night. So that's where it, 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 starts, it starts off. Uh, yesterday there was an old unreleased scene of Jackson where he looks at a girl and then he looks at a boy and now a lot of people um, yeah. are wondering is he bi? Is that, that was something confusing, you can talk was about? It? I don't know yeah. anything about that. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. Um, well, that was always something that was kind of hinted at earlier, too. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, exactly what Jeff said. <laughs> <laughs> Just listen to whatever this man has to say. You know, I get these few moments at my own yeah. minor celebrity here. <laughs> Just come and ruin it. We keep going to tell us, Jeff. I love you. Um, well, it was said, always said in, in season two, Jackson's everyone's type, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's the, what you were referencing. Yeah. So we'll see just what that means.
Are there other little strands like that that are really going to tie up in these last? I hope so. Um, we had so many characters by the end that writing the finale was a real challenge. And I also wasn't there for a good bit of shooting because I was also doing a pilot uh, for Let the Right One In for TNT, which unfortunately didn't go forward. Um, so I had my own distractions, but uh, and thankfully I had the great team of writers carrying the torch. Um, but uh, we put her all into the last few episodes, especially. So hopefully the fans like her. Your okay. cast is described as epic. Would you say it's epic? Yeah, it's pretty epic. Uh, we worked really hard. <laughs> so, and the last scene, the last scene feels like a series ender to me. So it, it felt good when I watched it. All right, tell Farid who for me personally.